Sometimes I think you have in rage. Coming up. <laughs> How did those wacky OWS kids celebrate their first anniversary? We report you donate Tide. Hey guys, can I ask you a couple quick questions about Occupy? What's your time? Couple more laps around here, you'll have a mile. Should the 1% still get bent? Well, Occupy Wall Street's big business wines no longer make headlines. So on Monday morning, the ragtag band of ne'er-do-wells decided to retake Zuccotti Park in celebration of their one-year anniversary. The result? Well, over 180 protesters have already been thrown into the paddy wagon, along with many a so-called journalist. See what I did there? So and called. Made it seem like they weren't really journalists. Said the National Press Photographers Association in a statement following the arrest of one of their own, quote, we are deeply concerned and troubled by the aggressive and indiscriminate manner in which officers and command staff are allegedly treating those exercising their First Amendment rights. So after hearing about the arrest, we made Bill Schultz go down to the park. <laughs> but unfortunately, he didn't even meet with one nightstick upside his stupid, stupid head. Sorry, America. It's been a year, but I'm back in Zuccotti Park. It's the anniversary. My pals at Patchouli are right behind me. And I'm gonna go back there to see what's changed, what stayed the same, and if there are any outdoor showers. <sighs> Let's do this. I am here with Peter Pan. Peter, what happened, man? It's Robin Hood. Robin Hood, I've not heard of him. So Peter, uh, I feel like you've seen better days. Well, I don't think so. These are good days. Um, all right, where is your Tinker Bell, and uh, what would she have to say about all this? Am I, is, I'm trying to do an interview here! This is very exciting. We've got an exclusive. Shea Guerva is at the protest. Shea, what have you seen from a year's worth of occupying? He's the strong but silent type. You'll find out that almost all the bankers that were responsible for the collapse of Wall Street were Jewish. Bear Stern, Goldman Sachs, AIG, Lehman Brothers. It goes on and Mel on and Gibson, on. I believe he's a closet. I too. don't believe he's a banker. You don't have a little person protester in there? No. No, that would be the ultimate weapon. You can, the cops can never arrest a little person protester. It's just, it's not adorable. How about Hollywood? Do they run Hollywood? Yes, the Jews Okay, we'll bring arrest. back Full House. Bring back Full House. God bless the Uncle Jesse. See, I, I'm not allowed to protest anymore. Do you think if I were to get in here, you could oh. smuggle me in there? Let's see if we can do this. All right, see if you can zip me up. Let's go for it. No, I can't. What do we want? Not Wall Street. When do we want it? Now. Every human being is luggage. It makes sense when you think about it. You'll see the person arrested, and you'll hear somebody in the crowd yell, what's your name? Well, that's probably one of us. Ah, I we recognize your name, voice. And then we ask them, do you have a person you want us to contact? Give us your phone number. So you guys are supporting Occupy Wall Street. Would you say that you're sort of like their, uh, their bra? You <laughs> lift them up and separate them for That's, all to see? Now, the sign says, I think, outside the box, but you are, in fact, inside the box. Well, Can you explain? that would be a chicken and egg question. You know, okay. must I be inside the box to think outside the box? And if I were outside the box, would I be thinking inside the box? All right, you just blow my mind. I leave you it up to you. Blown my mind a little I know, bit. No, baby. What do you think about what's going on in Cuba right now? Pro Raul Castro, or do we think eh, not as good as the brother? Interesting. Interesting. Explain the significance of S is effed up and bull S. Well, um, to simple it down for you. Um, I need simplicity. Yes, uh, it's just to say that everything is not okay. And I think that's a universal thing that everybody can agree with. Uh, is that, are we talking about the fact that the Nets are in Brooklyn or the fact that Ryan Reynolds is off the market? Um, I, you know, whatever, whatever you think is not okay. It is not okay that Ryan Reynolds is off the market. And F you, Blake Lively. What this guy says, we're all in the boats. We don't have any pedals. We're going down. If so, nobody does anything, we're down. So this is the Titanic. I'm Leo and you are Kate Winslet. Or do you want to be Leo and I'll be Kate Winslet? I'm king of Wall Street! Yeah, and I'm losing it! Make love, not war. Thoughts? He's, rum he's ruminating over it. Keep it up. Hey, give me a card. Huh? I don't have any cards you on me, but I do. Mine? Sure. You get one of mine and mail to me. Wait, this guy does a hedge fund. Come on, man, you're part of the problem. Oh. Well, another year, another Zuccotti party. And speaking of Zuccotti, it might be 99% in there, but I'm 100% hungry. Anyone got some baked zucchini I can eat? <laughs> Bill, 
Uh, first of all, I couldn't help but notice your mic did not have a Fox News logo. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. Yeah. It didn't. That was an aesthetic choice. Yeah. I felt that it didn't uh -huh. go well with the colors yeah. presented at the park. Yeah, there's a word um, for people like you. It's, it has something to do with two creatures that I have in my apartment. Uh, <laughs> that would be uh, responsible well, you and have, journalism. You have, brought, you, have brought, you have brought shame upon your family. Uh, this day. Look, what do you want me to go there for two seconds and have people throw all manner of pie? Yes, yes. that is exactly what I want. Or do you want a report? I want people yes. to throw pie. I want, and possibly worse, in your face. Well, uh, uh, Andrew, as you know, there's editing in our in our in our uh, industry. Yes. And I wanted to bring some of the signs that did not make the final cut. What we have here is, huh? Right there, <laughs> neckties. Yeah. Like that, I think. God, that is so true. That, I think. Yeah. When you think about it, this was sort yeah. of a warning. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, what do oh. we got here? Ways and means in skinny jeans. Don't know what that I means. No. I liked it because it rhymed. <laughs> yeah. We do. We use that one. Yeah. But you can never use it too much. Yeah. Uh, this one's wordy, but I think it really brought my point home. Make uh -huh. war, not love. Wait a second. Okay, admittedly, I'm a little high right now. You can see that theme in a lot of the signs. Yeah. Here we have, is that Susan Sarandon over there? She looks good for her age. <laughs> Which is true. Yeah, that is that's that's true. true. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. Yeah. She owns a uh, ping pong point. part she of does. Finally, she does. And yeah. I think I speak for everyone there. Yeah. Where's that inflatable rat? I love that yes. thing. Yeah, yeah. union yeah. rallies. Yes, yeah. and so, one that they wouldn't even make me, Sean Penn bogarted my joint. Yeah. yeah. That happens every rally. That's too bad, man. That happens every damn rally. Hey, Imogen, quickly, uh, what, if anything, has Occupy accomplished in, in its year? Well, it has sort of somewhat fizzled out, hasn't it? Um, but fundamentally, <laughs> wonder, wonder, big surprise then, if you your report. Uh, but fundamentally, it did have a bit of a point. The system is rigged. Uh, at the moment. Uh, it's not fair in America. Uh, around 30 billionaires are going to spend more on this election combined than the, re than the rest of America combined, about yeah. 300 million Americans. That's not really right. That's not really fair. But yeah. it All hasn't right. really... I agree. Hey, Michael, uh, didn't uh, didn't OWS have a chance to oh, yeah. say something important and oh, then sure. they just kind of blew it because they had to bring drums and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, no, it yeah. reminds me... No, it turned in. It turned into like a Hootie of the Blowfish concert. Yeah. Is that a real band? Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, used, used to be. be. Hootie's yeah. working single. No, yeah. but it reminds reminds me of all this talk and, you know, uh, people saying that, you know, Mitt Romney, uh, George Will said this this weekend, Mitt Romney has this opportunity right now with 8% unemployment and he's blowing it. Yeah. The same thing goes for Occupy, yep. is that you have this moment, this perfect moment, Imogen's right, massively screwed up, and nothing. Yeah. I mean, fizzled out colossally, yeah. so much so, I mean, look, the, the, the thing was that they had a, this method where you couldn't pin anything on them. We're a leaderless movement. So some guy at Occupy said this, well, that's not us, we're, we're leaderless. Right. And that was ultimately, it's also, it's, it's, it's armor and it's undoing, right. because they didn't have a point. Yeah, the also the rapes. I don't, you know. Never, never helpful. Never helpful. I don't think so. Joe, last word to you. Make it about the Jews. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> that guy, I guess, uh, he stays on message. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, uh, yeah. I think yeah. he thinks that, like, Lehman Brothers were, like, actual, two actual guys yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and yeah. so forth. Uh, yeah, I would agree with Michael on this. That You know, at the beginning, it could have been a movement that everyone said, hey, these Wall Street bailouts and these salaries, this is out of control. But then you let in, once the anarchist collective sets up their little kiosk there, it, it's all over. Yeah. They let in everybody, and you look around, and you've got the, the people with the, the pink hair selling the organic food, and then anybody else who wanted to come in, and it just it became well, just background yeah. noise. That's fine as long as they have a point. I mean, the thing is, if you ever b went, went to one of these things that have these interminable meetings, yeah. it was like a Bulgarian Politburo <laughs> meeting when <laughs> anyone could talk yeah. for yeah. any length, yeah. and then at the end of it, everyone's like, you know what, this is really horrible. The, big, I yeah. mean, the biggest takeaway is never trust the people. Yes, yes. absolutely. absolutely. All right. Yes. So, you have a comment <laughs> on the show? <laughs> Email us, it's redeye at foxnews.com. And you have a video of your animal doing something not boring? Go to foxnews.com slash redeye and click on submit a video. Hey, we might use it. Still to come, the Halftime Report from Jedediah Bila. Tonight's Halftime Report is sponsored by Beards, the hair on a man's chin and often his neck and cheeks, which can be styled in various ways. Thanks, Beards.